Today I'll be talking about snap-on attachment cones. I'll talk through the different lengths of each of the cones. I'll demonstrate the lengths on my dog soda. And I'll also talk through my favorite cones and when I'll typically use them. This is my set of wild attachment cones. There's eight in the set and attaching these cones to your clipper blade will allow you to cut your dog's coat to a range of different lengths. To help give you an idea of the different lengths, I've written the length next to each of the combs, and I've also drawn a line to represent this length. This first comb clips at the shortest length, which is 3mm or an eighth of an inch. The teeth are made of stainless steel, and the distance between these two teeth here is the length that it cuts at. Each comb is a different colour for easy reference, and each comb comes with a letter or number and its length written on it just here. In my set, this is a number one comb. I don't often use this comb because it does trim the fur quite short, but here's a photo of Archie, a dog I've groomed, using a number one comb on his head and body. My favourite comb is the number two comb. It clips the coat to the length of six millimetres or a quarter of an inch. This is my go-to comb from Summer Cut. It leaves your dog's coat looking nice and short without it being shaved. This is a photo of Murphy. I've clipped his body with a two comb and his head with a four comb. The number three comb is also a popular one I use for summer grooms. It's slightly longer than the two comb. It clips at the length of 10 millimeters or three eighths of an inch. This is my dog Soda. I've used a three comb on her body and a four comb on her head. The four comb gives you a really nice floppy look. It trims the coat to the length of 13 millimeters or half an inch. For dogs that I've groomed using a one, two or three comb on their body, I often use a four comb on their head to give them that teddy bear look. This is a photo of Willow. I've used a four comb on her body and her head. I don't often use combs 5 to 8 because the dogs I groom usually come in with matted fur, so I need to use a comb that would clip underneath the mats. However, if you groom your dog every 6 to 8 weeks and brush them weekly, you might be able to use a longer length comb. The 5 comb clips at the length of 16mm or 5 eighths of an inch. This is Spider. His fur is on the straighter side and doesn't get too matted, so I've managed to use a 5 comb on his body and head. The 6 comb clips at the length of 19mm or 3 quarters of an inch. This is Rosie, her owner brushes her twice a week to ensure she doesn't have any knots or tangles in her coat, so I was able to use a six comb on her body and head. I often use the last two longest combs when grooming puppies. Puppy fur is often more straight than curly because the adult coat hasn't started coming through yet, so they often don't have any mats or knots and the comb just glides through their fur. This is Soda's first groom as a puppy using the seven comb, which clips at the length of 22 millimeters or seven eighths of an inch. And the last comb in the set, the longest comb, which is the number eight comb, clips at the length of 25 millimeters or one inch. This is a photo of Charlie's first groom as a puppy. He looks super fluffy. Now I'll demonstrate the length of the combs on Soda. These combs can easily snap onto a 10, 15 or 30 blade on most clippers. I'm using my Hanega clippers and attaching the combs to my 10 blade. The first comb I'm going to use is the longest comb, the eight comb, that clips at the length of 25 millimeters or one inch. I'm just going to groom a section and then move on to the next comb. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in lengths, but between each comb there's only a difference of a few millimetres, so it is difficult to see a big difference. But hopefully you'll be able to see more of a difference between the shortest combs and the longest combs. As you can see, it's really easy to attach the comb to your blade. Just hook the comb over the base of your blade and push out the comb with your fingers until it snaps over the teeth of the blade. This next comb I'm using is a seven comb, which clips to the length of 22 millimeters or seven eighths of an inch. These combs are stainless steel. I've seen some combs that are plastic, which can easily snag on mats or knots in the coat, which can bend the teeth or worse break them. I prefer stainless steel. They glide through the coat really easily, giving that really nice smooth finish. This next comb is a six comb, which clips to the length of nine millimeters or three quarters of an inch. I should mention before clipping your dog, you'll need to prepare their coat properly in order for the comb to glide through their coat and give you that even finish. First, I recommend giving your dog a good brush using a slicker brush to get rid of any mats or tangles. Once you finish brushing, go over with the comb to double check for any knots. And if you find any, just give them another good brush with the slicker brush. Next, give them a bath and dry them with a pet dryer. As you dry their coat, use your slicker brush to brush through the fur at the same time, which will straighten any curls in their coat. Once they're dry, their coat should look fluffy and straight like sodas. Having a straight coat will ensure you get that even cut.
Okay, that's all the combs. Now take a look at who's hiding under the table waiting for her sister. <laughs> Too cute. Now let's have a closer look at these lengths. This area I groomed with the number one comb, the number two comb, this is the number three comb, the number four comb, which is a little bit longer, number five comb, number six, and the two longest combs, number seven and number eight. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you now have a better idea of what length comb you might to use on your dog.